Hi, everybody. Welcome to English Digest. I'm Stephanie, and I'm Tom. Watashi wa Tom des. Hello. How you doing? Okay, that means I'm Tom, of course, as you know. And because I spoke the only line of Japanese that I know, we all know that we are going to Japan today,、uh, the land of the rising sun, which is very easy for people here in Taiwan.、Uh, the plane tickets and accommodation are not very expensive, and it's only what about a two, three, four-hour flight over to Japan. Yeah, but I still find Japan kind of expensive compared to Taiwan. Or maybe、sure. even Hong Kong. I I do think it's a little expensive, although my Taiwanese friends all say, "Oh, it's not so bad compared to about."、Uh, I guess my first trip there was almost thirty years ago, and it was expensive then.、Mm. So it has gotten a little cheaper because the yen has fallen,、uh, which helps all of us. But、uh, it is a beautiful country. What are we talking about though today? Well, specifically, we're talking about going to a Shinto shrine.、Ooh. Of course, that's kind of like a small temple in Japan. Shinto, of course, is Shin Dao,、uh, their religion in Japan. There,、mm. their local folk religion, which we're going to talk about, and that is a special, unique experience to have when you go to Japan. So、cool. let's talk about that right now. Let's read through the entire contents of our lesson right now. Visitors to Japan have a dizzying array of sights and foods to take in. If you ever travel to the country, make sure to stop by a Shinto shrine too. From their elegant architecture to their spiritual energy, these traditional religious spaces are a peaceful getaway from Japanese city life. Shinto is the original folk religion of Japan, with a history stretching back to at least the eighth century. Followers believe in various kami or gods, and both pay respect to them and ask them for good fortune at shrines. Shinto shrines are usually marked by torii gates at their entrances. Don't walk through them in the middle of the path, though, as this is where the kami pass. Upon passing through the gates, you will see a water basin with bamboo dippers. Before praying to the kami, you must perform a ritual to purify yourself here. Pick up the dipper with your right hand and wash your left hand, and then reverse the process. After that, cup your left hand and pour water into it. Use this water to clean your mouth and spit it out beside the fountain. Next, approach the shrine itself. Put some money in the collection box and then ring the bell if there is one. Bow twice, clap twice, and then hold your hands together in front of your heart after the second clap. At this point, you can pray to the kami and make your wish. Who knows? Maybe it will come true. Finally, it's time for the fun part: the omikuji or fortune draw. To do this, you usually shake a box and pull out a long stick with a number on it. See what fortune you get at the shrine. Okay, folks, we're going to be talking about Shinto shrines that you find in Japan.、Uh, we call these sort of religious、uh, buildings or structures、uh, temples. Sometimes here in Taiwan, but in Taiwan they're Shinto shrines. Shinto is、uh, the original religion or religious belief in Japan. It dates back to the early eight. Eighth century, which is seven hundred, which is a long time ago,、hmm. and what they do is they、um, they worship their ancestors. They also、um, incorporate this belief in natural spirits or spirits of nature, and they also have a belief in a sacred power called kami that you'll find in our article pretty soon.、We're、going to talk about that in a minute, and they believe this sacred power is in both inanimate objects, things that don't move or breathe that aren't alive. And also animate things,、uh, so it makes things move that are alive. So, let's kind of take a look at the title first, though. Shinto、mm-hmm. is that Japanese religion that goes way back, and then the shrine is what they refer to as what we call a temple. They call a shrine. A shrine is a place that's considered to be holy. Because it's usually associated with a god or divinity, we also 
refer to gods as, as some sort of divinity, or maybe it's re- related or associated with a sacred person. Maybe someone has built a shrine to a very popular monk or priest in a church. Here, of course, that shrine is dedicated to the Shinto religion, so it could be a building or a monument, some sort of construction. That's what a shrine is. Yep, and of course, as you said, it's similar to a temple.、Mm. I think of temples as being larger,、mm. and a shrine is smaller. Although that isn't necessarily、True. the case、yeah. all the time. But when I see the word shrine, I tend to think of、uh, some kind of deity inside of it that、mm. it's a commemorating a person or a deity, etc., etc. Kind of that you see on the side of the road here in Taiwan sometimes.、Mm. There's a tiny, tiny temple on my way to Muja that I pass, and it's it looks like a shrine. I call it a shrine. It's Quite small.、Uh, they do that in Mexico too. If there's、oh. been the scene of a fatal traffic accident,、oh. they'll be they'll build these small little Catholic shrines、yeah. to serve as the place where the person departed this world for the next world.、Uh-huh. Uh, or you'll see crosses at the side of the road. You know what that means if you see that if you're in Mexico. Or they also sometimes when famous people are killed and it's a tragedy like Princess Diana. People went to the gates of the palace and they put up lots of flowers and gifts and stuff. That was a sort of shrine as well to、mm. her. Shrine, indeed.、Yeah. Well, visitors to Japan have a dizzying array of sights and foods to take in. Dizzying means it's something that makes you dizzy.、Wow. Uh, dizzy, of course, means you feel like you're going to pass out if you haven't had enough food or if you stand up too quickly or something like that. You might be dizzy. That happens to me all the time when I stand up. Too、mm. fast,、mm-hmm. but in this case, it's just a lot of stuff. It will just make you feel crazy or dizzy because there's so much to see and do. You can all take these in. To take in just means to enjoy something. Hey, let's go take in a movie this weekend,、mm-hmm. for example. Take in a show, take in a movie, take in the sights, or maybe you're looking at some beautiful scenery that you want to take in. So, if you've ever traveled to the country, and I'm sure lots of our listeners are very familiar with Japan,、sure. it's a very popular tourist site here、uh, for the Taiwanese. Well, if you've ever done this, or if you ever get a chance, make sure to stop by a Shinto shrine too. It's a pretty important part of their culture. And from their elegant architecture to their spiritual energy,、mm. these traditional religious spaces are a peaceful getaway from Japanese city life. So here we're talking about a range of things, from to from their elegant architecture to their spiritual energy. Well. These religious spaces are a peaceful getaway from the hectic hustle bustle of Japanese cities. So we're describing this as having, or these temples as having elegant architecture. If something elegant, something is elegant, it's high class, it's graceful and stylish. You look at it and you go, "Wow, that's really cool." You can describe someone well dressed as being elegant, an、mm-hmm. elegant lady wearing a, a gown or something like that. This is elegant architecture. Which means the features of the building itself, the design, etc., and also their spiritual energy.、Mm. Spiritual usually has to do with religion, with spirits, with God, etc. So with your soul, exactly、yeah. your spirit. Yes,、mm. indeed. So yes, if you go to those places, you might feel that you've touched God. So these are traditional religious spaces, and they're very peaceful. Especially if you live in the city or work in the city in, in Japan, it's quite hectic. Lots of people. People are going quickly from one place to another. So if you want a chance to just kind of breathe deeply, sometimes you need to get away. And these are a place where you can find some peace. So we're calling it a peaceful getaway. We use getaway as a noun to describe a place that we can go to to relax and enjoy ourselves, especially for the the weekend or maybe have a day off. You want to get away, go to a getaway. Your favorite getaway might be a particular town, city, or tourist attraction. So these are something you definitely want to look at when you go to Japan. Now moving on to the next paragraph, it says Shinto is the original folk religion of Japan. If you're talking about something that's original, it was present from the beginning, or it existed from the beginning. The original owner of my apartment was a Mr. Chun, but I bought my apartment from him. I'm the current owner. I can't say I'm the original owner because I'm not.、Mm. But when you talk about folk, notice I'm not pronouncing the L. I'm not saying folk. We have quite a few words like this, like yoke. 
poke polka dots. There's no L in it. Poke. Folk yoke. Folk refers to culture that it has existed for a long time. It's kind of part of the people. It's been around. It may not be very elegant or sophisticated.、Uh, sometimes folk songs are kind of simple,、mm-hmm. but they've been passed down from generation to generation. Well, Shinto is the original folk religion of Japan. Like I said, it's been around since the eighth century, so it has a long history and it dates back. Of course, to that 700s, what we're talking about. Followers believe in various kami or gods, and both pay respect to them and ask them for good fortune at shrines. Look at this sentence here. It says that people or followers of Shinto both. Do one thing and then the other. So what do they do? Well, they pay respect to them, but they also ask the gods of the kami for good fortune or good luck at shrines. Sounds familiar.、Uh, a lot of people go to temples here and ask for good fortune or good luck as well. They certainly do. So again, they believe in various gods or deities. You could also say kami in Japanese. And again, you said this pattern here: both something and something else.、Mm-hmm. I both like rice and noodles. Yeah, me for too. For example, so yes, they both pay respect to those gods, and they ask them for good fortune at shrines. Gee, that sounds very familiar. Yeah, that seems to be what people do here in Taiwan, going to the various temples, and、uh, of course,、uh, praying to the local deities like、uh, what Shennong and and、uh, Mazu and stuff like that. Uh, I'm sure they have their own local deities or gods over there in Japan as well. Okay, that brings us to the midway point in today's lesson. Here comes our Chinese teacher. Hi everyone, my name is Jenny. 今天我们要看的是第二单元。好，我们要带大家来。看看日本的神社。日本呢，当然我们很多人都去过日本。到日本之后，也一定会参访的，就是他们的神社 ，Shinto。那我们要知道，这个字其实本来是他们的一个宗教，所谓的神道教，是他一开始的民间宗教。不过呢，这一。个宗教，他们会有盖一个，像我们在台湾可能是看到寺庙，但是在日本，他们就是神社。所以，我们来看，在这个地方，首先我们晓得，在日本有很多玩的景点，有食物可以让大家享用。好，享用 take in 可以当观赏，可以当享用。那到这个国家来，一定要去参访神社。我们来看看这个地方有个 make sure to make sure。这个片语，它后面可以用不定词啊，表示你一定要做某事。如果你是接一个 that 子句 ，make sure that you do something， 那意思是一样的，都表示一定要这样做哦。好，我们再来看，如果到神社去，那当然因为这是神道教。的一个建筑，所以我们要了解这个宗教的起源，它可以一直追溯到的是西元八世纪。我们来看看，提到它宗教的起源，可以一直往回追溯。这边有一个介系词片语 with with a history stretching back。To at least the eighth century. 我们先看这一个部分，因为我们常常呃在叙述一件事情它的附带的状况情况的时候，我们会用这样的片语，就是用 with， 然后再加受词，受词后面再加一个补语。这个地方 a history 就是受词，后面的补语地方补充说明，补充 history 的 stretching。我们要知道。补语的位置上，我们看到其实常常是一个分词，像这里表示主动语态的，就是 v i n g； 如果是被动，那就会用 p p。所以，我们来看，说到它的历史，它可以一直延展、延展，一直往前追到第八世纪。好，我们来看下面，又提到了提到神道教，它是一种。日本的民间信仰，而他的信徒呢，其实也相信各种的神，所以都要为他们为这些神来表示敬意。We're going to take a quick break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. 
Okay, everybody. Time to continue with our lesson. We're talking about Shinto shrines in Japan. Shinto, of course, is the original folk religion of Japan. It's really old, and there are lots of kami to pray to if you go to these temples or Shinto shrines. Now, here in the third paragraph, it says Shinto shrines are usually marked by tori gates. At their entrances, tori. I hope I said that right. Which is nyaoju in kanji, bird gate, I guess. Yeah. And of course, those are at the entrances. There are、mm-hmm. some of those still here in Taiwan in various places, left over from the Japanese colonial era. Although you have to look kind of hard to find them, but、uh, don't walk through the middle. Of them, of the path. Of course, there's a path that goes through the gate, but you're not supposed to walk directly in the middle. You're supposed to go to the side a little bit because the kami or the deities, the gods, will pass through the center. That sounds similar to temple etiquette here in Taiwan. When you enter the temple, you're supposed to enter on the right. The middle gate in a temple is for the deity. Right, that's where the kami pass through. So don't be in the middle of the path. That's kind of disrespectful to the gods there. So you either want to move to the left or move to the right. Then you'll be okay. The next sentence says, "Upon passing through the gates, you will see a water basin with bamboo dippers." Upon passing is a way you can say after passing or once you pass. You could also say once passing, once you pass through the gates, or after passing through the gates, you will see a water basin. Let me give you an example of upon passing. Upon finishing my work today, I plan on going to see a movie.、Ooh. So after finishing work today, I'm going to go see a movie. Just for a little variety, you might want to try using that preposition upon. Mm-hmm. So you will see a water basin. A water basin. It kind of looks like a shallow bowl.、Um, sometimes we see water basins that are outside for birds to get a drink of water from. If you go into your bathroom, you could call that sink a basin. If you want to sound more. More elegant, more classy. You can say, "Oh, I just bought a new basin for my bathroom.、Ooh. It's quite lovely." But、uh, we also just call those sinks kitchen sink. But you wouldn't say a basin for the kitchen. I've never heard a basin or a sink for a kitchen called a basin. No. You can use it for a bathroom, but only if you spent some money on it, and it's very nice. So, what are bamboo dippers, Tom? A dipper, of course, is some kind of utensil that、uh, brings up some. Water, usually more than a spoon would be able to carry.、Uh-huh. So these are made out of bamboo, and they'll bring up what, maybe about、uh, seven ounces or so of uh, water. Uh, I don't know how many cubic centimeters that would be, but、mm-hmm. in any case, it brings up more than just a teaspoon or Millim- a tablespoon. I think it's milliliters you're looking、uh, for. There you go, milliliters exactly. Yeah. So yeah, maybe I don't know, two hundred, three hundred milliliters or something like that.、Uh, they bring up enough water so that you can wash your hand and use the bam. Bamboo dippers from that basin, and before praying to the、uh, kami there,、uh-huh. to the deity, to the god, you must perform a ritual to purify yourself here. So you're going to perform or do a ritual. A ritual is something that you do、uh, every day.、Uh, it could be in your daily life. My daily ritual of getting up and brushing my teeth and getting dressed and stuff like that, eating breakfast. Those are my daily rituals. Rituals, but of course, if you go to a temple, there may be some rituals you do there. Here in Taiwan, a ritual that a lot of people do is to light incense and then、mm-hmm. bow a couple of times in front of a deity, put it in the incense pot, and then maybe they drop those little wooden things that look like little moons. I guess they're wabwe or something like that.、Uh, here in Taiwan, that's like a ritual, throwing those on the floor to see if the deity will answer your request. So you might be thinking, well, what's the difference between ritual? And routine.、Mm. Routine is something that we all do daily, or maybe monthly or yearly. Routine is not usually used though for religious ceremonies. So if you have a religious or a spiritual kind of ceremony or something that's very serious or solemn, we'll tend to use this word ritual rather than routine. But to just kind of shake up your language, sometimes you can talk about your morning ritual if you're very dedicated to it. Otherwise, you can.
can just call what you do in the morning or at night. You know that pattern, those actions you perform every single day that tend to be the same. Those can be just called routines. So they have this a ritual to pur- purify yourself. I think the Catholics have something like that when they enter the church. There's a little bowl with water that they can、uh, clean their hands with. Well, it's described here as picking up the dipper with your right hand. Washing your left hand, and then you reverse the process. If you reverse something, you kind of switch it around or do something backwards. If you're in a car and you want to go backwards, you put your car into reverse. That's that R, and you move backwards. We'll also talk about a court and judges reversing a decision. Maybe a lower court has decided upon some sort of decision, and then gets taken to the higher court, and they go, "No, we don't agree with the court below us, so we're going to reverse it or change it,、uh, change it completely." So you can reverse. Lots of different things, right? So basically, you're doing it in in reverse here, or you could say vice versa.、Mm. Okay, pick up the dipper with your right hand and wash your left hand, and then do it vice versa. In other words, pick up the dipper with your left hand and then wash your right hand.、Uh-huh. Okay, so both hands、yeah. are nice and clean, and after that, cup your left hand and pour water into it.、Mm. Okay, so make your hand into a cup so it can hold a little bit of water. Use the dipper and pour some water into it, and then you use this one. Water to clean your mouth, and then you spit it out beside the fountain. A、uh, fountain, of course, is the source of water, usually spraying up into the air. It could be kind of like a spring, though. But in any case, there's going to be a fountain there, I guess, in the Shinto shrine. So、uh, I would、uh, watch other people first to see how they're doing it before you make a fool of yourself. And if you're like Tom and you like to say a lot of bad words,、Uh-oh. you probably have to clean your mouth out a couple times.、So So watch the swearing, guys. My mother used to say that if you don't say, if you don't <laughs> stop swearing, I'm going to wash your mouth out with soap. That's awful. Yeah,、uh, yeah. I think my brother had that happen to、Good. him, but、uh, it didn't happen to me so much. I got <laughs> needed it, Tom. Okay,、yeah. moving to the last paragraph here. It says next, you approach the shrine itself. If if you approach something, you move towards something. You walk towards something. Um, any way you move there, you could even approach something with a car or on your scooter. You just go nearer to that thing, so the distance is much smaller. So, after you've cleaned yourself or purified yourself, you're then able to approach the shrine itself. Yep, and put some money in the collection box.、Yeah. I think I read somewhere that、uh, you're supposed to put a five yen coin in there,、oh, okay. and then ring the bell if there is one. Yes,、mm. ring the bell again. Watch other people to make sure you're doing it right. Then you bow twice and clap twice,、mm. and then hold your hands together in front of your heart after the second clap. I guess you're kind of putting them、uh, together with the palms facing each other, but kind of like you're crying or, or、uh, you're praying. Yeah, we don't have pictures here, so. So, at least in our script here, but uh, again, uh, watch other people to see how they're doing it.、Mm. Or I, you don't really necessarily have to do this stuff. You can just go in there and check the place out. But I guess it's polite to also perform the rituals. And at this point, you can pray to the kami and make your wish. So、mm. yeah, find the image of the kami or whatever. And then make your wish, your request, so that you can be extremely rich in the future, or that your, you know, son or daughter can pass the college entrance examination and get into Harvard or Tida or whatever. Yeah, make those wishes, and hopefully, who knows, maybe that wish will come true. I just looked this up, Tom, and actually, when you put your hands together in front of your heart, that is that praying posture or praying position. A lot of the Thai people do that. I just、uh, was on the、mm. Thai airline. Um, and as you get on and off the plane, they put their hands together, you know, to greet you, which is kind of nice. So you do that,、um, and then you can pray to the kami and make your wish. And like Tom says, who knows? Maybe it will come true. Finally, it's time for the fun part. Woo! Here's the fun part: the omikuji or the fortune draw. It sounds kind of like a lottery drawing. Here to do this, you usually shake a box. And pull out a long stick with a number on it, 
And didn't you say what that was in Taiwanese, Tom? Uh, yeah, yu shen xian, I think, or something like that. Oh, that's that. that's Mandarin. They seem to have the well, that's the kanji basically.、Mm. But、uh, yeah, I think they have something similar at temples here in Taiwan with those sticks. Yeah. And you pull out a long stick with a number on it, and then the stick references something else, and you open a drawer, and there's a little piece of paper with、oh, your、cool. fortune on it. But again, you're going to see what fortune you get at the shrine,、mm -hmm. and we're not really sure exactly how you know what the paper looks. Like here because I've never been to a Shinto shrine before、oh, myself. I have. It's kind of cool, but I didn't. I didn't do all of this. Next time I'm going to go through the ritual. It's kind of. I'm going to check it out when I go there for the first time someday.、Uh -huh. But、uh, in any case, that brings us to the end of our explanation. Time now to listen to our Chinese teacher. 我们继续来看，提到了神道教，提到神社，在它的入口。这边都有一个所谓的鸟居门作为特征，不过他要提醒大家，到神社参访的时候，应该有什么样的习俗、什么样的礼仪，你要注意。好，这个地方他就提到，不要从路的中间穿过去，因为好，我们看到，因为 as。As this is where the kami pass, 我们知道 as 有很多解释，像这个地方就是讲原因，因为这是 kami， 也就是众神他会通过的地方。那我们知道 this is where， 当然这样子的句构我们常常看到，说 that is how， that is where， that is when， that is why， 这就是好以这个地方是 where。这个子句，我们知道在这里，当然它前面也可以再加一个 the place where。不过一般我们谈这个句型，这个 the place 都是省略掉的。好，那接下来就告诉你了。Upon passing through the gates, upon passing， 我们知道 upon 是一个介系词。那如果你看到 upon 介系词后面加一个 v r n g， 像这一个地方，它的意思就是。一怎么样就怎么样。那如果你不要用 upon， 当然你也可以改用别的片语。那比较常见的另外一个一怎么样就怎么样 ，as soon as。不过用 as soon as 的时候就要记得，那是一个连接词片语，你后面必须接子句。upon 是接动名词，因为它是介系词。那一经过一穿过大门，那你就会看到，哎，有一个呃有勺子的水盆，然后他告诉你，在这里你就有仪式要进行。我们再往下看，提到了这个如何你舀水来洗手，然后把这个把这个水呢啊、呃、放到嘴巴里洗你的嘴巴，然后再把它吐出来等等。最后还有他说你。接近神社的时候，到了神社本身的建筑体，要记得 put some money in the collection box。原来这里有一个收集箱，你可以捐献。还有一件事，他说要你如果有铃铛的话，把铃摇一摇。这边提到 ring the bell if there is one。我们知道 one 这种。代名词，它事实上是一个不定代名词。用 one， 像这个前后文里面指的就是 a bell。记得 a bell 并不是特指某一个 bell， 反正有一个这样的铃铛，你就摇它一下。最后呢，就告诉大家，哎，有一个很有趣的部分，就是抽签、抽运签 （fortune draw）。这跟台湾这边的习俗似乎有那么的点像，但是注意到这个片语 ，is time for is time for， 就是表示该做什么事情的时候了。好，我们今天的讲解就到这边结束，我们下次见。That is it for our program for today. Thank you for listening. Domo arigato gozaimas, and、uh, we look forward to seeing you again. And enjoy your trip to Japan the next time you go. From all of us here at English Digest, I'm Tom. I'm Stephanie. Goodbye. See ya.